And I believe that God wants to raise up young leaders in this church. You know, one uh, Christian writer said this, every generation is just, uh, or uh, Christianity is always just one generation away from going extinct. We need to raise up our young people to have strong convictions. They need to have their own experience. And so uh, what we're doing is we're, we're launching a new strategy for awakening youth. Uh, it's been monthly and crews, and that's been really great, but we're going to begin to meet every single week with awakening youth, starting on Sundays at 6 o'clock here at the Smithfield campus. We're going to have worship. They're going to have the word. They're going to gather together and cruise and have relationship and friendship and accountability. And one of the great things I believe that this is going to do is, number one, it's going to bring consistency. I think young people need consistency more than anything in this upside down world. And number two, they are going to begin to get a new culture and experience with Jesus. And can I be, can I be honest on this? I really feel this. I feel like our young people need to know there are other options than the culture of the world. You know, there's a, a verse where, where someone was preaching. I, I believe it was Paul, but Aquilus and Priscilla, they took him aside and they showed him a better way. That's what we want to do with our young people. Take them aside and show them a better way. There's a better way. There's an anointed way. There's a way of God. And so we're going we're gonna to be uh, having Sunday, every single Sunday at 6 o'clock, service for the youth. Now, make sure they still come to Sunday morning, but this is special for them as well. It's really going to be such an awesome thing. Why? Because we're called to create leaders and that starts young. Another one of the things that we're doing is we've redesigned Movement Course, and we are relaunching it, and Pastor is actually going to be leading up, speaking, teaching Movement Course. We have actually launched it after both services now, first and second service. We've completely redesigned the curriculum, and we're working on it, and, and Movement Course, uh, we believe through Movement Course, this is what it's going to enable you to do is know God and follow Jesus so that you'll be able to find freedom. You'll be able to discover your design. Make no mistake, you do have a design. You have meaning and you have purpose. It's already in you. Many of you feel like, well, I need to, be, to do more, become more. It's already in you. You just got to find it. God is, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You got to discover your meaning and your purpose. And when you do that, you're going to be able to make a difference. You're going to be able to join the church. You're going to be able to bring how God made you uniquely and add it to the strength, vision, dreams of this church. And can I say one more? We're going to add this one more uh, level here. I really do believe you're called to develop your leadership. This is something that I feel like we're, we're, we're anointed for, and, and, and I, I believe the church is ready to take this next step into discipleship and leadership. And to help this happen, we are launching, uh, for the first time, launching Awakening Leadership Center night courses on Wednesday night for the church. Many of you have been asking for years and years, and we're excited on September 25th. We're going to be releasing a whole series of courses in our leadership center next door. We've got great teachers, great curriculum, and this is going to help you take just another step. We're going to have a class on developing your leadership that pastor's going to teach. That is going to be good. We're going to have classes on how to study your Bible, become a disciple of Jesus Christ. We have classes on financial freedom. It's going to help you figure out how to make a budget and get your finances in order and have godly principles in your finances. Do you know that Jesus talked about money more than almost any other subject? Subject. Why? He knows because it's one of the number one things that screws us all up. We're going to be able to make your finances be godly and, and reflect Jesus. We have a class where you're going to be able to find freedom. For many of us that are, are, have been caught in cycles, maybe you're in a, a cycle of addiction or brokenness, this is going to bring you back to Genesis, your original creation, and begin to get you out of those cycles of addiction and brokenness and pain that you might grow into a free and liberty-filled life. We're going to have creative classes as well that can uh, teach you how to take great photographs, frame shots from incredible teachers. In every single way, we're going to be a growing, thriving, healthy church. Amen? Well, our goal is to become better. Our goal is to become better, and I believe God is going to partner in this because he began the good work, so he's going to fulfill it. With ALC Night Courses, we're also launching a really great um, resource. We're calling it Awakening You. Org, which is going to be online training. We're going to put many of our courses on here as well. All of our collectives, leadership talks, all the guests that we have, interviews we're going to do, uh, different staff meetings and all of that will all be on here so that you can come on and you can continue to train yourself during the week. And for all of you joining us on Global all over the world, you're going to be able to be a part of our church through awakeningyou.org. Together, we're going to grow. Amen? Amen. It's awesome. It's awesome. I got one more thing to speak to you about. At the end of this dream, Jacob, he had an, an action, a reaction. When he woke up, he says, I know what this is. This is the house of God. 
And he said, how awesome is this place? And I want you to know there's just something awesome about this place. Jesus loves it. I know it's flawed. I know the church is, is, is filled with flawed people, but can I tell you, there's just something awesome about it. And I believe when we get to heaven, we're going to look back and we're going to say, we missed how awesome God's church really even was. How awesome was that place? It's almost like when Jesus was, was being whipped and beaten, he said, Father, forgive them because they don't even know who I am. I think sometimes we don't even know what the body of Christ is, what the church is. Sometimes I think we focus on the little things and we miss the presence, the healing, the peace, the passion, the fact that God has anointed it. The reality is this is an awesome place. It's an incredible place. And I think when we get to heaven, we're going to look back and we're going to see the bride of Christ and say, how awesome was that place? And I do believe God has called us to build a matchless house of God, a majestic place, a landmark in the community. And we're going to continue to grow. Last year, we talked about uh, our plans to have an expansion to continue to grow in this place. Because make, make no mistake, our church, we are church builders. We are church builders. Can you say amen? I mean, we physically know how to build the church. And our church, we believe, is unstoppable because Jesus said, I will partner with you to build the church and the gates of hell themselves will crash before your onslaught. I want you to know the church is unstoppable. We're partnered with Jesus Christ. We're moving forward. We're making it happen. We're building an altar. It's the house of God and it's an awesome place. It's a landmark place. May the whole community know there's something different about that place. And so we're going to continue our expansion, our building, our growth as we make room for more. We're calling it Expansion 2020, and I'm excited to finally be able to show you. We uh, have met with our architects, come up with some very, very basic renderings. We're still going to keep working on them, much more to do. But uh, we are building uh, in this next year the connection building between these two buildings. We're going to make it one building, 97,000 square feet, all church all dedicated to the glory of God. This is what this is going to look like, the, the connection between the two. Awakening Church, our beautiful atrium and concourse. You can see it from the side view. We're going to have a cross on top. We're actually going to be work, rework much of the steel. It's going to be heading towards heaven, which is beautiful. On the inside, you can see this uh, lobby that we're going to have. It's going to be in connections between here and there. But let me tell you the good news. Number one, it's going to make our lobby two, three, four times bigger. Thank God. Right now, our lobby, when you guys all leave, it turns into a hallway, you know, and you're all like, it's like, um, it's like a Black Friday at Target. You know, you're all just trying to, you're trying to get to the coffee commission, but people, you just find yourself in front of your car. You didn't even mean to go there. You meant to go to movement course, but people are pushing you out. We're going to have room for your family to grab a coffee, hang out with people, have some good food. We'll have room for movement course, all of that. Thank God we'll finally have a big lobby. We're going to have brand new bathrooms installed. Can you say amen? And they're going to be uh, more than double the size of the current bathrooms, which is awesome. You know, one of the really amazing aspects of this uh, atrium and concourse is it's actually going to lead us to an area which is going to be a full area for awakening kids. It's going to be brand new. They're going to have multiple state-of-the-art rooms, incredible, built out, all the teachers and kids, and they're all going to be in one location with one drop-off. So you, kids, you parents that have multiple kids, do you know right now we have four different drop-off locations for awakening kids? Some parents, they got here 30 minutes early. They're still walking in late because they're all over the place like a pinball this is going to be one location, be able to check your kid into the classrooms, fusion, momentum, all of that. And we're really going to put a lot into that. And so it's, it's going to be an awesome thing for the church. What it makes this church be able to be is this wing is going to be the worship center. That wing is going to be the leadership center. Between our church building, we have over 10 classrooms uh, to, to lead and train. We've got creative media studios. We've got audio studios. We've got a theater. We've got a gymnasium next door and a fitness center. Here's what we're called to do. I really believe we're called to be a big church, to make a big impact in a big way, a local church, but a global vision. Amen? Amen. I'm going to ask the band to come up. Come on, I believe God has big dreams for us. 31 years, thank you, Jesus, but we're ready for 31 more. Can you say amen? We're called to show Jesus to the world. Will you stand on your feet together? You know, there's one last thing I, I want us to do together as we look into this new season. One of the things Jacob did after he rebuilt the house and he set up the altars, he took a vow before God, and he, he set his priorities straight. 
and put God first. And together, I was thinking, before we start this next, this next season and this next year, I'd like for us to take a vow together before God. And I believe God's going to hear it, and I believe God's going to honor it. And I want us to say it together. We'll put it up on the screen so we can repeat it. When we vow, heaven hears. God moves. He's looking for a people to use and bring an awakening through. Come on together, let's just say, today we declare that Jesus is our everything. His people are our heart. His church is where we find home. And serving Him is our honor. Because of Him, generosity is our lifestyle. Expectation is our approach. And unstoppable is our nature. We are ready to show Jesus to the world. Come on, amen. 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 Come on, lift up your hands, lift up your voice. Let's worship in victory.